Hey, how you doing? This is RJ. Today I'm going to go back to talking about Golden Age heroes. And my first Golden Age hero video was inspired by Captain America. And this video, I think you can probably tell by the art that's sitting in front of you, is inspired by Captain Marvel, otherwise known as Shazam. And Captain Marvel, Shazam, he was a giant hero of the Golden Age, just like Captain America was. There was Captain Marvel radio shows and television shows and comics that sold extremely well. So he is a major Golden Age hero. And there are several reasons why I think that Shazam is going to hopefully be one of those heroes that brings about this new golden age of heroes that I can see coming in this future, in the future of comic books that is looking at us right now. And one of those reasons, of course, is the new Shazam movie that's coming out. And I'm actually very excited about the new Shazam movie that's coming out, more excited than the Aquaman movie that's coming out. And one of the reasons why I'm really excited about this is, again, because I think, I'm hoping, certainly, and I think it looks like from the trailer, that it's actually going to be a very traditional hero movie. And it really is something that has started to build a little bit incrementally in the movies, in the comic book movies, which is good because I think that Captain America, the first Avenger, actually tapped into this, and it didn't mean to tap into it at all, but it tapped into this idea of traditional heroes because you had your World War II story, you had your good guy, you had your bad guy, you know, and it was very clear cut cut black and white and it was something it was very traditional kind of storytelling you know because when I first watched um, the first Captain America movie you know I was a little bit bored because I thought to myself yeah I already know this story like the back of my hand eh, it's okay but it's nothing great but when I actually watched it with other people because originally I watched it by myself but after I watched it with other people after that the people who didn't know the story, they were really excited about this Captain America movie. They thought it was great, and to some extent, I would say they thought it was great because it had this traditionalism to it, and this was not something that was intended, I don't think, by the MCU, but it came out nonetheless. And I think that the Wonder Woman movie that came out, it tapped into this to some extent very small in a very small way in a traditional hero kind of sense they did mean to put it into that and it did help it and that was actually a great movie and that's why i think it was a great movie is because you had your black and white you had your world war one story where this is the good guy and this is the bad guy that's also why i think it fell down a little bit because at the end we had aries come in and the story became overly complicated you know they just didn't stick with it through the entire thing now, Shazam, I'm hoping, and again, I think it looks like this, it will be a traditional hero kind of story. And I think it will be a traditional hero kind of story in a very different way, but it doesn't have this normal, you know, World War One, World War Two, good guy versus bad guy, but it will have a very traditional story in a different way. And it's a different way because of the comedy. And the comedy for Shazam was always there. For Captain Marvel, there was always this basis, especially in the comics, of this good old-fashioned comedy. Now, I've been giving up on things for the last while because they are infested with SJWs. I mean, I'm talking like 20 years for a while. And one of the things that I gave up on a long time ago was movie was movie comedies. I just gave up on them a long time ago because the comedy to me wasn't funny anymore. It wasn't comedy anymore. It was a degrading humor. It degraded people. It either degraded you as the audience or it degraded the people in the movie itself. You had jokes based on feces humor or jokes based on sexual gratification of one kind or another or all of these jokes which just were degrading and I didn't find them funny. I still don't find them funny. I haven't watched a comedy in the theater for at least 10 years now at least but the thing is about with this old kind of humor this old kind of humor that used to be in Shazam it was for everybody and that's the kind of humor that is traditional humor that I think that hopefully this movie will get back to and it looks like it will get back to and that's the kind of humor that was always in the Captain Marvel comic books as well and um, the there was something I participated in. There was a, a Twitter thing where um, Eric Larson, if you know, you probably remember Eric Larson. He now runs Image Comics, but um, he originally is known for Savage Dragon, right? And he's a giant SJW. He's also a giant tool, by the way, just to let you know. But he went on, he just did a random tweet 
putting on some Captain Marvel Shazam old, old uh, panels from comics and making fun of them saying, yeah, comic skaters, this is the kind of thing we want again, is it? And I, like hundreds of other people, commented and my comment was, gee, Eric Larson doesn't understand good old fashioned humor. Who to thunk that? Really? Because Eric Larson basically has taken his comic book hero, uh, Savage Dragon, and he's taken that comic book and basically turned it into a porn comic. Really, that's what he's done. You know, and there's no there's no traditionalism. There's no sense of, you know, good old fashioned, just good old fashioned humor anymore. And I hopefully this new Shazam movie will do that. Because again, if you look at those old Shazam comics, the old Captain Marvel comics, yes, they're kind of campy, they're kind of silly. But you got to remember that at that point in history, people like that kind of humor. I mean, you had your, it, it's basically like Andy Griffin humor or the Beverly Hillbillies kind of humor. You know, people actually found those things funny when they came out. So this is the kind of humor that is in the Shazam, uh, Captain Marvel uh, comics comic books as well. If you read it today, you probably wouldn't find it funny, but they can still take the core of why it was funny. And why it was funny is because it was just good old fashioned traditional humor that everybody could understand and it could appeal to everybody. And that's one of the reasons why I think Shazam, uh, Captain Marvel, will hopefully bring about this new traditional hero, golden age hero uh, future for comic books is because it has the potential of appealing to both the older audiences and the younger audiences. And everybody's always saying that we need to get more younger audiences back into comics. And I think that Golden Age heroes are the way to do that, especially Golden Age heroes like Shazam, because it can appeal to the older and the younger at the same time. And in the movie, hopefully it will use humor that will appeal to both of those and actually be good old traditional humor. And that will lead into stories that will appeal to both the young and the old, because you can do that. You can have stories that will appeal both to the young and the old. And again, the reason why that this character is the one to do that is because you have a character, of course, who is Billy Baston, Billy Batson, and he is a kid. When he is in his normal, you know, before he says Shazam, he's a kid. But when he says Shazam and he becomes that superhero, he's an adult. So you have this tie of these two, you know, the older and the younger, these two uh, age groups. And you can tie both of those in and hopefully appeal to the young audience and to the older audience at the same time and be a traditional hero in that same kind of way. Because... The thing is that this character, as a kid, you know, he has that, that, what it had in the Captain America and the Wonder Woman movie where you had your good delineation between good and bad, um, your good and evil, and your villain and your hero, right? Because he is a kid in his normal form, and so he has that innocence of a kid. He has that, he sees the world to some extent as a kid, even though when he is Captain Marvel, you know, he is extremely wise. He's supposed to have one of his attributes as wisdom, but he still sees it in that innocent kind of way where you have, you know, who the villain is and you know who the hero is. And this is a traditional golden age hero, and there's certainly nothing wrong wrong with that. Again, I'm always saying that you have your traditional heroes and the way a traditional hero is written is that he's a paragon of virtue. You know, and your SJWs are always trying to destroy heroes. They're always trying to turn them darker. They're always trying to make them into something that, you know, destroys their origin. But there's no need to do that. If you have a traditional hero like Shazam, and he is trying to be virtuous in this innocent way, there are a multitude of stories. There's a lifetime worth of stories to tell right there. Because, of course, you're dealing with something that you have to constantly fight for. You're dealing with something that you have to constantly be better for. Because that's that's the idea of a traditional hero. And young people, just like this character, you know, they have that hunger for that. And I can see this in young people today. For the first time in a long time, you can see it in the younger generation today where there is starting to emerge this generation of young people or at the very least a section of them that can see the 
importance of traditionalism and a traditional hero, you know, because for a long time the far left has controlled the whole ball of wax and made sure that not even anybody who grew up in Western civilization was even going to think about wanting any kind of traditionalism. But you can see it in some of these young people today, and that's one of the important reasons why I think we need to take comics back, is because we need to be able to show a traditional hero. We need to be able to show that, no, you don't need to deconstruct a hero or destroy him in order to keep a story going. Even epic stories like comic books where you have issue after issue after issue, there are so many things that you can explore when you have a virtuous hero and it will not get boring. I mean, that's just life and to show these heroes to these younger people and this younger generation and in the same way have it appeal to the older generation because again, that's why I think Captain Marvel will work so well because he is a child and a man at the same time and can appeal to both of those demographics and can appeal to their sense of, you know, for the older people it can appeal to their sense of being innocent and being young and looking at things in that way that they want to get back to and for the young it can appeal to the fact that it is something that they want to strive towards and be you know an adult and that's one of the things that's I, I was in a conversation um, in the comments about this this is one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is because he is Captain America or Captain Marvel uh, Shazam is the greatest example I would say of these traditional heroes of these younger heroes these older heroes you know the older sidekicks and the older heroes that were were kids you know the sidekicks they wanted to grow up they wanted to be heroes they were always held back to some extent by their mentors but they wanted to fill the boots of their mentors they wanted to grow up and they wanted to be heroes whereas you have these characters today sort of uh, we'll say like the champions I won't call them heroes they're characters they don't want to grow up they want to be eternal children they won't want to take responsibility for anything you can see this right through their books it's idiotic and of course they're written by SJWs who don't want to grow up either obviously because again you just in your socialist state you never have to grow up because you move from your mother's basement to the nanny state and the nanny state will take care of you as long as you follow than any state's rules and so they don't want to grow up they just want to indulge in their childish ways but no these traditional heroes these golden age heroes they wanted to grow up they were young people when you had young sidekicks and when you had Shazam you know these were heroes that wanted to be heroes that wanted to build their lives around this heroic notion and that's why these heroes these great heroes from the past are going to be I would say great heroes of our future because we have people especially young people hungering for these kinds of heroes hungering for the traditional idea of a hero anyways Hopefully I've given you something new to think about. If I did, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. Give me something new to think about. And I will hopefully have more of these Golden Age hero videos because I have a lot of ideas about these, but I'm not going to do them one after another. I'll probably intersperse a lot of other videos with them. But um, just let me know. Hit like and let me know if you actually want to hear more of these Golden Age uh, hero videos because the first one actually did surprisingly well for me so just let me know anyways i'll see you later bye